Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to go take a look at a yard full of old cars to see if we can find one or two to make a Will It Run video and I wanted to take you all along with me. So let's go. So here we are in the, what I call the field of dreams. We're very fortunate to be invited to this spot uh, with all these old cars and we're going to try and find one of them that we can get running. So let's do a little walk around, see what we got going on here and see what we can actually start up. We got a little TR6 over here, although I don't know if that one is what we were looking for. We might be looking for something of the V8 variety. Oh, what do we got over here? We got ourselves an F-body. Now you know I'm an F-body guy. But we're going to wait on that one because I think that one is a runner. But we're going to wait. We're going to find something else. And I'm walking in this direction over here and I'm seeing some fins. Lots of fins. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get this one running. We got some Cadillacs. Nothing there. We got some 59 Chevys. Look at the fins on that. It's a two door. But no engine in that one. Let's take a look over there in, in that direction. What do we got here? Let's take a look under the hood. We got a straight six, missing a carb, missing most of the ignition system. This one could be a runner. We'll see. We got an Oldsmobile. An Oldsmobile. I think this is a 1959 Oldsmobile Super 88. This is a 371 or a 394, something like that. This one looks pretty complete, guys. I don't know. Maybe this one? So here we are under the hood of this Oldsmobile, I said Super 88. Maybe it's a Dynamic 88. So let's take a look here. Air cleaner. Take that guy off. What do we have? Ooh, we got a Rochester 2 jet. We got a coil, we got a uh, distributor, we got wires, we got plugs. This one might be a runner. We've got one heck of a frozen carburetor though, so we're gonna have to put some uh, the old aero coil on that one and get that one going. But it uh, looks pre pretty complete, so we're gonna go put a breaker bar on the crank, see if we can spin this engine over, see if it's not frozen. Okay guys, well if you are a 1959 Oldsmobile expert of any kind, which I'm not, let me know in the comments below, is this a Dynamic 88 or a Super 88? We're just going to walk around the car and take a look here. Maybe there's some cues in the back end and the tail lights and any of the trim. She just says Oldsmobile on her. I don't know what it is. It's been sitting here for I don't know how long, to be honest. It probably hasn't run in... Um, the guy that's here with me, who's uh, letting me on the property, says that this car probably hasn't run since the 80s. Um, it was a local car here. And uh, just kind of walking around it. Oh, well there you go, right in front of my face, Dynamic 88. So it's a 1959 Olds Dynamic 88. Should have a 371 cubic inch engine, which was around 200 and, was it 245 horsepower? in that area and around 375 foot-pounds of torque so this car weighing about 4200 pounds still would have got up and moved pretty good and man is it ever long I think it's 22 feet long we'll look inside and little bit of cancer little bit of lightweight 
by nature. Um, but this car, you know, if it runs, could still be something to fix up. Throw some floors in it. Hose her down with a pressure washer. Could be a driver, put some brakes in it. You never know. All right, a little more research. I think this is a 371. 371 rocket. Pretty good little motor in its day. Could have been uh, ordered with either a two barrel or a four barrel. I'm not sure, but this has got the, the Rochester 2 jet on it, so. Okay, well, we're gonna go in here. We're gonna take the old breaker bar and see if this thing is stuck or not. Okay, wow, yeah. It is fairly, fairly stuck. We should roll over. Maybe not. That is one frozen engine. Get a little bit more leverage on it. Maybe if I push over here, push down. Hmm. All right, well, we've got like a four foot long piece of square stock on here and it is absolutely frozen. You see the whole car flexing, the motor mounts flexing, but uh, I think this one might be stuck. So we're gonna pull the plugs out, try to put some uh, juice down there, some oil or some tranny fluid or something down there. Okay, a little aero coil now on the uh, carburetor and we've got carburetor working, which is good. Um, we used some more aero coil and I dumped it right in here, just like so. Hopefully this will uh, creep in there. What is it called? The oil that creeps. So hopefully this oil will creep in there. And So we're going to let this sit, let this creep, and move on to maybe looking at something else here that will roll over. So let's do that next. And we got another Cadillac. Look at this thing. 59 Caddy. It's under the hood here. There we go, under the hood of the caddy. Ooh, a little crusty Carter carburetor on there. Air conditioned unit. It's got wires, it's got a distributor, it's got a coil. This could be a runner. And guys, I gotta make a, a correction here. This is an inline eight cylinder. This is a 1947 Chevy fleet line. Pretty cool looking big vehicle right there. So next contestant then is this uh, 1960 Buick, is it 60? Yeah, 1960. 1960 Buick LeSabre Ragtop. This is a cool car. Kind of half in and out of a barn here. We're going to see if we can get this thing to roll over with the old uh, crank bolt. And here you can see the, the back end of the car. Pretty cool. The Sabre. Look at that. Let's get the trunk open. Let's dig into the trunk. Huge trunk. A little daylight from the interior of the car there. But uh, this one apparently may roll over. So, let's see if we can get under the hood. And we got a hood open now. There we go. So, we got electrical, dizzy, we got a coil, we got some better looking plug wires in the other car, we have no carburetor. But, uh, while that one's soaking, we're going to put a wrench on this nail head. This is a nail head. You can see the valve covers, they're sort of like straight up and down. The valves are going basically straight up and down. They're not on an angle. Any other engine with valve train that is at an angle, like small block Chevy is 23 degree, LS stuff is 15 degree, etc., etc. I don't know what the degrees here on the old nail head are, but they are basically straight up and down. That's why they call it a nail head. Now, I'm not an expert, but uh, that's what you can see by looking at it. So, yeah, there you go. Power steering pump is also for the brakes. It also generates for the power brakes. Um, a little bit more accessible in the front. 
let's see if we can get this one rolling over. All right, so this one does move. She does roll over. There's a bit of a hard spot right there. But uh, maybe a battery in here can help it. Maybe the starter can help it out. So we'll have to find some sort of carburetor that we can use here. Um, I'm sure we got one lying around, but yeah, she rolls back and forth anyway. So what kind of carburetor does it need? Eh, it's a two jet or two barrel, which we have one we can use right here. So we'll, uh, probably goes this way, I would say, based on where the linkage is. So. Choke. Yeah, this, this carburetor may work. So we're gonna try putting that on, maybe getting some battery in here. We got our negative and we got a, we got a negative here and we got a positive here, going to a relay. Okay, looks promising. We got ourselves a battery over yonder. So, so I think this is a 401 nail head. So if anybody is a nail head or a Buick expert, drop a comment down below. What is this engine? Got oil in it and it's full. Yeah, it's got some viscosity, I would say. Uh, what else are we looking at? Generator. 12 volts. Delco Remy, so it's a 12 volt system. We got a 12 volt battery. Um, yeah, wires look pretty good from this perspective. I'm hoping there's a good set of points in there. All right, now we've got a remote starter hooked up and we've got our battery hooked up. So, it's, uh, she's rolling over. Something going on over here, some smoking over here, but uh, the engine rolls over. So in the barn, I'm told there's another caddy. And as we look in the barn, we do see the grill of another Cadillac, another 59. Hopefully you can see this, it's a bit dark in here. So another potential runner here. Looks fairly complete. Got some uh, distributor cap off. Looks like a Quadrajet or another Carter, anyhow. So there we go, we got a few vehicles. So which one are we gonna get running? All right, well, we're back home now, and we do have a few possibilities. Now, you know I'm an F-body lover, and I would love to work on that Firebird. That's actually a 74 with a 70 front end put on it. But I know that car has run in the recent past, and that may be just too easy. So we're going to move on from that one. That 59 Olds Dynamic 88 is a really, really cool car. It's the same basic uh, roof line as a 59 Impala, which you saw in the video, but it's just a little bit different, a little bit different seeing an Oldsmobile. That 371 under the hood is locked up solid. So I think we're gonna pass on that one, but we may still work on trying to free that up. Um, but we'll pass on that one for now. That 1960 Buick LeSabre, now we see that thing rotates on the starter, so there's a good possibility that we could play with the wiring and get that thing running. So that is a top contender for me. And the 59 Caddy in the barn, that's a Cadillac Fleetwood. That thing is a very cool car. I'd love to see that running as well. So which one will it be? Well, drop a comment down below and let me know which one you think can be fired up. Stick around on the channel to find out. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video. Take care.